Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I'm going to show you how to make just one corner of a rectangle or an object round. And I apologize to my subscribers. I just did kind of this a video last night, but it was under my lamp video, and I thought people wouldn't be able to find it, so I'm going to call this to one quarter round or something on the website or on the YouTube. But to get this shape where this one one square, one rectangle is has a curve to it, First of all, if you're just doing um, this and you haven't turned it into anything, you haven't welded anything, you can take that one box, make sure your edit corner together or is unlocked and just pick this upper left one and press in 0.5 and now it's done. And then just take all your boxes and select them and then weld them together. So that's one way to do it. The other way, like I showed last night, is after you've already welded and now it's too late or even your object is not a rectangle, it's, it's a curve. You can very easily do it. Just control D and make a duplicate. I need to set my nudge factor higher. So let's go back up. I'm going to set my nudge factor on eight inches. Get it out of the way or make my duplicate. I think what I think I'm. Okay, we moved it out of the way. Then just take a two-point line and anywhere in here, just make a basically a triangle. Take your Smart Fill tool and fill in that. Move it over. Left click, right click. Let's zoom in here so you can see better. Then we're, we're checked on this item. Go up to Windows, Dockers, Filet, Scallop, and Champer. And we're going to fillet the edge half of an inch. You've got that shape now. We can get rid of this line. So this is almost the same as the video last night. Then we're just going to move that over. We're going to take away with the virtual segment delete key this inner line. And now we're going to use our smart fill tool. And once again, we have that exact same shape. The other option would be this. And just depending on how you like doing it, this would be just as easy. We're going to weld this together just like before. We'll make a duplicate, control D. We're doing almost everything the same. Except for toward the end, I'm going to put a two-point line. It doesn't really matter what it looks like. We're going to color fill that. So we have an object. Move it out of the way. Left click right click and then make sure you're clicked on the item and put apply is give us a warning that the other two sides are too sharp I mean, that's why I didn't round them now just move this out or back to the part delete your inside line and this outside line so basically you have it it's already done but to play it safe because those are actually two pieces and can be moved you could grab them both, use your boundary tool, and then move it out, and you've got that exact shape again. So there's three ways you can make a round corner on just one corner. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.